Okay, I'm here with Chief Bruce Cotrayer, Tangipaho Fire District 1 in the Amede area. And uh, Chief Cotrayer and, and, and his folks have been uh, training for a long time uh, in the water rescue, the swift water uh, type of environment, knowing that that's a threat. Uh, just two years ago in, in 2016, the, the, the South Louisiana area, specifically Tangipaho Parish, uh, suffered many losses to, to flood waters and, and raging waters. Uh, so they have assets now, not only just firefighting, but ensuring that they can get to people who are trapped by water, rescue people and bring them to safety. And, and Chief Cotrere, uh we're certainly uh, staring down uh, uh, the scope of a, a tropical storm, possibly a hurricane as we speak. Uh, though it's, it's uh, slated to hit the uh, Mississippi border, we know that Tangibaho Parish and Washington Parish and, and bits of St. Tammany Parish are going to see uh, tropical storm effects uh, from this. So uh, what are your people doing to get prepared, not only in, in Amede area, but, but I think parish wide because as we've seen with with the parish president you know this is a, a team effort and, and when there's an emergency in Tangibahoe Parish everybody comes to the to the call no matter what community or fire district it's in. Everything you said was on track uh, Chief Browning. The, the fact is we stay ready all the time we're just fine-tuning things for the event that is possibly imminent whether it be high water and winds or a combination of all and bear in mind we don't want the public to think for one minute that we're exempt from any significant damage because just a little bit drifting to the east uh, to the west is going to make it that much worse on us so we don't take anything for granted and as you can well see in the background we have extra members of the team on duty today they've been fine-tuning the water rescue equipment and other equipment that goes along with a natural disaster like this that may be coming on uh, we're very comfortable with where we at and the main thing is we urge the public to get their business taken care of and stay off the highways tonight and early in the morning uh, and they have been very good about taking heed of what we encouraged them to do the last couple of events and we didn't have much traffic on the highways and therefore we didn't have many incidents so it's working some of the same things that your office advocates. Absolutely and I know from uh, from the unified command groups meetings that we've had with Governor Edwards uh, being connected to what the locals do as a state agency that partnership and that teamwork we know saves lives and, and no question about it and I, I think that's great advice you know get your business done stay home tonight stay connected with the, the, the broadcast and the directives of the Tangible Parish uh, Emergency Operations Center. Uh, but, but I think in the end, um, you know, you have a lot of wisdom here. People know about flooding. People know what happens when it floods. People know who are flood prone. Uh, so those people know what the, the risk and the dangers are. We're concerned about uh, blowing debris and, and trees falling down. So don't think, of, don't forget about that. But finally, if you're an, a new resident to Tangibaho Parish, uh, maybe you should reach out to your local officials, call the local fire department, maybe call the OEP center and make sure that where you live, uh, you've got all the resources that you can take care of yourself. Uh, Getagameplan.org is a great place to go to, to know how much food and water and provisions you need to have in your home. Um, but I can tell you, again, I, I, I've always been proud of, of the fire services across the state, specifically uh, Tangibaho Parish and exactly here in Meet. And, and you all do a wonderful job and, and, and they're well protected here. And, and I just know we have to be vigilant. And, and, and this department certainly stands for that and stands for service. And I, and I appreciate your work, Chief. Well, what I'm going to throw back at you is certainly we talk about team effort in Tangibaho Parish and it reaches out more much further than that. Our governor, for example, through you today, encouraged us to contact our neighboring rural departments on the county on the state line where they have the counties up there and that we done to make them aware of the fact that we feel like we're in pretty good shape, but they're not always in the limelight because they're not on the coast. But if the situation dictates, the uh, state of Louisiana and your office is more than willing to send assets to help them take care of issues that may arise. So that team effort is homegrown, mm -hmm. and you and I are kind of homegrown together. Yeah, so but it, it's we're homegrown, and we, we age to perfection. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Chief. And look, we're going to get through this, and you're right. Our resources are available to everyone. So, um, you know, more to come, but uh, Godspeed to your people tonight, and we certainly have the, the fire service here in this, in this parish in our prayers. And we thank you for the job you're doing statewide and appreciate the kudos you throw to oh, us. Thank you. Well much. deserved. Thank you, Put sir.